please subscribe. Both the town automobile and the masked mammal can be adorable and strangely endearing, but both are best avoided entirely. Compared with the preceding Fort Bull Cabrio, however, the most recent edition of this convertible city car shows some signs of domestication. Like its coupe counterpart, the Cabrio rides on a new platform co-developed with Renault. Overall length once again steps 106.1 inches, fitting the previous generation automobile, while the wheelbase sees a small 0.2 inch increase. Despite this additional girth, the little two-door is incredibly simple to move thanks to its striking 22.8-foot spinning circle 5.9 feet greater than the last car and a whopping 12.9 feet better than that of a Honda Civic. Rather than the coupe's metal roof and two-piece tailgate, the Cabrio adds a power-folding soft shirt which could be rolled part way back like a sunroof or retracted completely. The fabric roof can be opened or closed at any given rate, and it comes with a pair of removable roof rails which may be snapped out and kept in a compartment inside the tailgate. Though removing the rails provides a more conventional convertible experience, we guess most motorists will leave them in position, as their existence must close the top. Power Hour the motor comes mated to a conventional 5-speed manual transmission or an available 6-speed dual-clutch automatic A990 alternative featured on our test car. Acceleration from the 2,235 pound Fort Mocabio is a leisurely affair. 0 to 60 miles per hour requires 10.2 seconds, while passing by 50 to 70 miles per hour in high gear took 7.8 minutes. Still, the new Fort Mocabio has made tremendous progress versus the previous generation edition, whose naturally aspirated 70 horsepower 1.0 liter 3 cylinder needed a long 13.6 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and 10.5 minutes to saunter from 50 to 70 miles per hour. While the Fort Bull's dual-clutch automatic functions with a degree of refinement missing from the older version's clunky 5-speed automated manual transmission, the new gearbox is reluctant to downshift and slow to react to manual inputs. We did record 40 miles per gallon during our 75 mile per hour highway evaluation, bettering the EPA's 38 mile per gallon highway rating. Big Little Car Notwithstanding this Fort Mocabio's diminutive size and relatively low curb weight, the tiny drop top never feels especially tossable or light on its toes. Blame the softly sprung suspension which allows your system bob and weave with each twist of this vague and dead steering wheel. The narrow 15-inch Continental Pro Contact TX all-season tires do the automobile no favors, either, as it was able a truck like 0.71 grams of traction on our 300-foot skid pad prior to the undefeatable stability control system intervened. On the other hand, the Fort Mo tracks directly at highway speeds, and its regular crosswind assist system retains the slab-sided smart from being tossed around in its lane from the aftermath of passing trucks. Stopping exposed another lively failing, since the car's front disc and rear drum brakes had a long 188 feet to deliver the smart to a stop from 70 miles 18 feet more than a 3 plus ton Ford expedition. Adding insult to injury our pronounced brake dive and a brake pedal that is not very linear in performance. Be seated. Nevertheless, the tiny drop top's cottage is pleasant enough. Due to its extra width, the passenger and driver no longer sit shoulder to shoulder. Meanwhile, the gigantic windshield and upright seating position give the motorist a confidence-inspiring perspective of the road ahead. Contrary to the Fort Mo Coupe, which is extended in an entry-level pure trim, the Cabrio's order book opens with the better-equipped Passion version. Together with the height-adjustable driver's seat, power mirrors, and 15-inch aluminum wheels, in addition, it includes features found in the pure coupe, such as automatic climate control and Bluetooth audio and telephone streaming. Prime and proxy trims will be the higher rungs from the Fort Mo's lineup and deliver additional standard equipment.
There was a $100 smartphone cradle that plugs into the middle of this push-button sound system and allows the driver to easily view and interact using the phone's navigation and music programs. The car maker also has its own Smart Cross Connect program that can display navigation purposes and play music stored on the telephone. Our test car wore $350 value of lava orange paint and the $400 lighting bundle that adds fog lights, LED tail lights, and LED light bars inside the headlights. When everything was tallied, our test car wore an as tested cost of $22,810. That's lots of money for a tiny car, although the Ford Mo Cabriolet's power folding soft shirt adds some distinction to the design. A more spacious and equally trendy Fiat 500C Pop can be had for as little as $17,485. Overall, the Ford Mo Cabriolet makes very little sense from the US market, where its little size is rarely an edge. And it seems that Smart has come to grips with this fact. For 2018, the Ford Mo Coupe and Cabrio will be sold only in a form, using an 80 horsepower electrical motor and a 17.6 kilowatt hour battery pack. It is a move that's guaranteed to place the smarts in an even smaller market.